before we discuss about the ascending pathway, uh, this is the outline of the central nervous system. This is a cross section of the spinal cord and this is another cross section of the spinal cord at the upper level. At the spinal cord in the middle, this part is the gray matter. That is the collections of the nerve cells. And outside the gray matter, this is the white matter. And from white matter, the bundles of actions, they ascend upward and the names of these bundles are tracks. These tracks are basically bundles of actions which connect the upper and lower part of the central nervous system. They have a common origin and also a common termination. And these always move up and down. At the dorsal part, this is called the dorsal column, which only move up. This is one way. This is like the express way. And at the ventral or the lateral part, the lateral or ventral spinothalamic tract, they are, they can move both ways. So these are also, they move up and down. So this is called tract. We have another structure here for our understanding. This is a cross section of the thalamus at the level of the brain. And this thalamus is also to be discussed in details during this pathway because the pathway is from the spinothalamic pathway. We will discuss later on. The thalamus, uh, it is also subgrouped about, uh, with the anterior, the medial and the lateral group of nuclei. We can also, we will discuss about a part of the brain. Above the spinal cord, the first swelling, this is medulla. And the medulla has a lower part and upper part. Above the medulla, this is pons. Above the pons, this is a midbrain. And above this midbrain, there are two structures sitting side by side. These are thalamus, which we have shown before also. This is the ventricles, the lateral and the third ventricle. And lateral to the thalamus, we can see that is a triangular shaped uh, group of cell bodies. This is called, this is, looks like a lens, so it is called lentiform nucleus, both at uh, both sides. And this is the temporal lobe, this is the cerebellum, which is connected with the medulla as the inferior cerebellar peduncle, with the pons as the middle cerebellar peduncle, and with the midbrain as superior cerebellar peduncle, which is both sides. And this is the parietal lobe. Below the parietal lobe, there is a special area that is cingulate cortex. So this is about an outline of the, this uh, central nervous system.